everyone, again I'm going to make uh, flower coasters, but this time I'm going to use a um, holographic hexagon coaster mold. I think that will be nice. And I'm also going to use a different white paste for the flower design. Uh, I want to see what kind of effect I can create with this pigment paste. So I hope you will enjoy watching my video and will give me a thumbs up for it. So I already started with a, a thin layer of resin into the hexagon coaster mold. And this is a silicon mold from Molds and Shapes and they have great quality uh, molds. And I only use their molds. So the link to their website is in the description if you are interested in their silicon molds. And if you buy some of their mold, don't forget to use my promo code. Because if you use my promo code just paint 5, then you will get 5% discount on your order. But the information to that is in the description. So I will pour a thin layer of resin into the mold. And then I will leave it for 15 minutes. And then I will add the flower design. So we are 15 minutes later and the first color I'm using is from Ranger, it's the Pearl Algamy, very nice yellow color in the center. And the resin I'm using is from Craft Resin, it's their low viscosity resin, but I think it's in between a low and medium viscosity. The second color is from Dippon and it's the color Intense Teal, so four drops on the edge of the yellow color. So that will give me also some, uh, hopefully a nice shade of green. Because if you mix green and yellow, yellow, no, blue and yellow, then you will get green. And the third color is from Ranger and it's the Honeycomb. There you can see it. So yes, I'm going to use a different white paste because I want to see the difference in effect. Because not all white pigment paste is the same. Yeah, and I think this resin from Craft Resin is very suitable for uh, using in a silicon mold. You can pour up to uh, at least one centimeter, so that's enough for, uh, for this silicon mold. And it dries very clear, and what I must say is that there are not a lot of air bubbles in the resin. And don't forget, my giveaway is still running, in which you can win a $100 pound, English pound or euro gift card from Craft Resin. I will include the link in the right corner because Saturday I will draw the winner. And this 100 euro pound or dollar can be spent in the web shop. So, for the flower design I'm using white and this is the Lures Angel White paste. And I added a few drops of Let's Resin alcohol ink in the color white. And I already can feel that the resin is thicker because I waited for 15 minutes. So around the white I'm using a, a pigment paste from uh, Eli Gem. This is the Resitint Max Deep Sea and I mixed in. A few drops of the dip on drop in tint red jade pearl. A nice green blue shade. 
Now I'm going to make some lines. So from the outside to the inside. There you can see it. So I don't know if the angel white from Nores works for the flower technique, but we, we will find out. At the end of the video I'm going to show you a close-up. And then uh, the effects are much more visible than now. I hope you don't hear my friend's bulldog. He, he is snoring again. So I'm adding a little bit more of the teal color. Yeah, and I'm so excited about that giveaway because I never given away a uh, $100 pound or euro, euro on my uh, channel. So, uh, so nice of Craft Resin uh, for providing that gift card. I'm also going to make some uh, lines in the blue. There you can see it. And what I did, I mixed the... Um, Lures Angel White and the Let's Resin Alcohol Ink White into a paper cup with a little bit of resin and then I uh, added it into a piping bag because then you have much more control over uh, the lines and I think this is a nice shape of a, of a coaster and hopefully the holographic effect is very pretty on the other side of the coasters because I love that effect yeah and it's my intention to use as much uh, white paste as I have of other brands because uh, the Resitint Max I don't think you can buy it in uh, the USA I'm not sure but the Angel White from Lores you can buy in the USA but also in Australia for us here in the Netherlands it's a little bit more difficult because yeah we can buy it but we have to pay a lot of shipping uh, at the moment and a lot of duties so it's very expensive for us but I had this still so why not try it and again a line from the nice green blue color around it And again, a white line. So all the supplies I'm using in this video you can find at the end of the video but also in the description below this video with a link to the website. So if you're curious please check out the description box, there's a lot of information.
Now I'm going to make some lines from the outside to the inside, not all the way to the center. There you can see it. And in the description box are also my uh, promo codes. I have several promo codes with some nice discounts. And um, the information to that is also in the description. Now I'm adding some heat to create uh, some effects, but also to remove air bubbles. But what I already mentioned, there are not a lot of air bubbles in this resin. Because normally if you use a low viscosity resin, there is a much better air release in the resin than if, a, if you use a high viscosity resin, so a thick resin. Now I'm blowing from the outside to the inside with my embossing tool. So I'm done with this thin layer. Uh, I will let it dry for one hour and then I'm going to show you if they changed or not. So we are one hour later. Now I'm going to show you how they look after one hour of drying. Yeah, the white has spread a little bit, not that much as with the Recited Max Titanium White. So it look, the, the effect looks different. And what I already mentioned, I have some nice shades of green because of the blue and the yellow um, that blended together. So far it looks nice. A little bit closer, you can see the sparkle, and that's because of the Resitint Max Deep Sea and the Drop-In Tint Rare Jade Pearl. It looks nice. And I swirled the center, I didn't show you that, but I swirled the center think that will look nice on the other side of the coasters. So I will let this dry for 24 hours and then I will add a clear layer of resin to fill the mold. So we are 24 hours later and I'm going to fill the mold totally to the top. Again I'm using the craft resin, low viscosity resin. There you can see it, it's not thin as water. Maybe that's also because of the temperature here in the Netherlands. It's not that hot here. I think uh, my studio temperature is 21 degrees. I thought why not show you how I add that clear layer of resin to fill the mold. So bit by bit I'm adding the resin, then I'm using my heat gun to remove air bubbles, but also to make the resin a little bit more liquid so that it can flow to the outside. And I need to watch out that I don't overfill the mold. And in the center I'm adding some gross glass is a, in a really nice bright gold color. And these crushed glass pieces are not that large. They are in between 1 mm and 3 mm. And soon they will be added to my Etsy shop. I have two colors, gold and silver. So why not add a few pieces of this cross glass in the center to create a little bit more contrast in that area. So 
So if you are interested in my Just Paint supplies, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. You can buy uh, mica pigments in my Etsy shop or mica flakes, glitter flakes, um, silicon molds and a lot and a lot more other uh, supplies. The link to it is in the description. They are also available in the USA and Canada by my associate Evelyn Schaefer. Much cheaper for you all in the USA and Canada to buy from her Etsy shop than from mine. The link to her Etsy shop is also in the description. Adding more resin, because the mold is not totally filled yet, but I always add bit by bit. Hopefully the other side of the coaster is also nice, because then they can be used on both sides. And for the people that already use my uh, Just Paint supplies, I have my own Facebook group and I would really appreciate it if you share your art in my Facebook group because I'm very curious what you create with my Just Paint supplies. So come and join my Facebook group. The link to it is in the description below this video. Again, we are 24 hours later and the resin is dry, so now I can take them out of the mold. I never have a problem with that because I don't use a torch. I only use a heat gun or an embossing tool. Because the torch gets very hot and then uh, you have a risk that your silicon and resin will melt together. And then you can damage your mold, so I uh, never use a torch. So what I mentioned at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a close-up, then you can see the colors much better, because the colors are much brighter than you see now. And hopefully the holographic effect is also much more visible than, than it is now. So now we can take a closer look. I like this side, very nice colors, I'm going to show you how it looks if you add a black layer on the back side. And this is the other side. I love the holographic effect, very pretty. But with the uh, Lares Angel Wise, I created a totally different effect. Also nice, maybe I waited too long, I waited for 15 minutes before I added the white lines, or maybe I added too much of the paste, I don't think so, because I never add that much paste, but for sure I will try it again. I still think they are uh, pretty. A little bit closer, there you can see the nice holographic effect. There you can see the center, I love the center. A totally different effect in the white. It looked like brains. <laughs> I don't know which side I'm liking more.
So this is a close-up uh, in the daylight, in the sun. Now you can see the colors much better, but also the sparkle, because it sparkles a lot. There you can see the effect of the white, totally different than in my previous video. But still nice. And the holographic effect is amazing. So these molds can be bought uh, from molds and shapes. And they have a lot more holographic uh, molds. There you can see the effect up close. I think it looks like brains. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. It sparkles a lot. And this is the side how I poured it with the crushed glass in the center. Also very nice. So if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up for this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider it. I have a lot of tutorial videos. Don't forget my giveaway. It's still uh, running till Saturday. Then I will draw the winner. And um, the link is in the right corner. I want to thank you all for watching again. And hopefully... I will see you in my next video. Bye.